so I'm back today for a, another review video. So this one is for the Style Pro, which is a bush cleaner that claims to dry your bushes in a few seconds, wash your bushes in a few seconds. And I do think it does that. I tried it out and I really, really like it. I have some pros and some cons about this product. Uh, Enzo's joined me for this video, haven't you? Uh, he didn't want to stop barking upstairs when I'm trying to film, so it's pretty standard for him, that isn't it? He just wants cuddles, basically. A little bit about this, it cost me roughly £50, it's like £49, £49.99, so it's £50. Um, I ordered this from the Style Pro website itself, which I wouldn't necessarily recommend. It took them a week to ship this out to me, um, and then it took a day after that, so it took eight days altogether from me ordering it to having it in my hands, which I think is quite a long time, especially if you're impatient about something, but if you're not bothered, then order it from there. But um, they sell it in, at Boots, so I will just buy it, either go into a store if you can find it, or actually um, get it from the Boots website. Seems a lot more legit and reliable to me. I'll read a little bit of blurb on the back. It's professionals recommended cleaning makeup brushes every two to four weeks, but traditional cleaning methods are messy, laborious, it can leave brushes wet and unusable for up to 24 hours, which I completely agree with. It's been my life is washing makeup brushes at the sink, um, my back starts aching, and then you've got to wait for like 24 hours for them to dry, you can't use them, and I'm just like, out of action for 24 hours basically. Um, the Style Pro leaves brushes clean and dry, ready to reuse in just 30 seconds. Get the most from your makeup brushes with Style Pro. Um, also, the inventor is uh, a guy called Tom Pellerou who was on The Apprentice a few years back and actually won The Apprentice. So I'm going to get into this now and show you what you get in the box. You laid on my desk. Oh, you're so cute. Look at that face though. So cool. Okay, so let's have a look. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to pull out is these. Now these are called Collars. I find it a bit of a weird name, but they're like attachments to help you attach your brushes to the Style Pro device. Basically, you get this little stand for them, and these will um, just pop off. I do this. These will just pop off here like that. Um, it's good to keep them on the stand. It's just a lot more organised when you're trying to find the right size for your brush. So basically, what these will do is hug your brush, and they're stretchy. Um, you'll see this in a little bit. So I'm gonna put those there. You also get the Style Pro device itself, which comes with batteries, which is awesome. Um, and you get this little attachment, which you just put into the end of the Style Pro. And when you turn this on, yeah, it vibrates, or it spins. And then finally, you get the bowl, which looks like a little fish bowl. Is there any fish in there? <laughs> That's an experience, hey? Um, you also get this little thing, like splash guard, to stop the water and detergent going everywhere, which it will do if you don't use the splash guard. You will also get a set of instructions in the box. But we don't need those because we're pro here. So, the first thing I want to say before we start to wash any of our makeup brushes is I've watched like 30 reviews on this before I got it. Literally, I've watched like so many reviews on this. And lots of people say you can use hand soap and shampoo and stuff like that. I tried this with hand soap, didn't like it with hand soap, didn't clean my brushes and it foamed up loads and it just, it just didn't clean them and they were still stained and dirty. I tried this with solid brush uh, soap which is like a, a bar of soap you saw your brushes in. Didn't really like it with that, it was a little bit better but still wasn't that impressed with that. Tried it with some MAC brush cleaner. Um, I watered down my MAC brush cleaner, like half water, half brush cleaner, because I don't feel like, I feel like it's a waste of money, like you can uh, get way more out of it and it still works fine. Um, I used it with that, didn't like it with that, didn't clean the brushes. Um, tried it with regular shampoo, uh, like an argan oil shampoo, didn't like it with that. So basically what I'm trying to say is, this guy that you can buy, it's the official Style Pro cleanser, what's this called? Makeup Brush Cleanser, is the bomb.com. So much so I went and bought two of them because in the Style Pro thing, I got two sachets. When everything didn't work for me, I tried the sachets. Loved, I couldn't believe it. I dipped my brushes in and it melted off into the water. It was like a little pool of makeup around my brush. And it's not just my eyeshadow brushes and my face brushes, but it's things like caked on gel liner, liquid liner, face paint, 
it all just like, like seconds so yes it's expensive it's 50 pounds for this thing though I don't think that's actually that bad you get you get quite a few bits with it um, but this is the bre best the breast gee, boobs on the mind guys <laughs> this is the breast um, brush cleanser I have ever tried like honestly it's I was gobsmacked by the sachets I went straight out that day bought two of these bad boys so I'm gonna show you with these I'm not gonna bother with the soap and all that stuff because in my eyes it doesn't work so what I've got here is some dirty eye brushes and some dirty face brushes and we're gonna try and clean a variation of different ones so we've got one with concealer on and some with uh, powders um, foundation -y kind of majig whatever so what you want to do to begin with is take a cap full of your liquid, just a cap, into there. So for my brushes to start with, I'm going to take, let's find one, let's take this pink one because this is pretty dirty, okay? Bright pink sugar pill matte eyeshadow on there. So what you want to do is you want to take your collars and find one that it fits in but it's snug so it's not going to fall out. So for example, this one. It's going to fall straight out. So it's a little bit vulgar that movement there, isn't it? Um, this one, a little bit snugger on there, but not really too snug. So I would say this one right here. Now, one thing I did have a problem with with these is that once I put them in, I can't, for the life of me, get them out. So what I did is I took hand soap and I squirted a little bit of the hand soap in there and swirled a really small brush around that fitted in really easily and then slided these in, slid, slided, slid these in and they came out so much easier. So I would recommend doing that 100%, it doesn't make it gross or anything. Okay, so when I've got that in there, I'm gonna attach it. You want to take your brush and just dunk it in that water. Instantly, you see pink in that water, yeah? See that? Now pink is a colour that stains really badly, especially this sugar pill one, stains badly. So once I'm done with that, I'm going to turn the device on for 10 seconds and I'm just going to go up and down like that in the water. So when I've done that, I'm just going to take it above the water for 10 seconds. And you can see the bristles like fraying out from the brush and dispelling all that dirty cleanser um, from the brush back into the bowl. So when I'm done, I'm going to turn it off. And you can see this brush is completely dry. It has stained, but it's pink. And the brush itself is white. So I'm pretty adamant that that's clean, to be honest with you. So just for a little test, I'm going to take that onto some kitchen roll just to show you. Okay, so I'm going to take the brush and swirl that about on the kitchen roll. There's nothing coming off on there. It's clean, okay? The brush is totally dry, completely bone dry. So if you, I'm going to just go in once more to see if we can get rid of any more of that staining off the brush. Again, it's completely dry. This is probably a bad example just because pink really does stain. So I'm going to go in and show you some other brushes. So we've got this one here. It's got lots of brown eyeshadow on there. So we're going to find a colour for that. I would suggest this one. So I'm going to use the same water. And I'll use this like for about 10 brushes before I change it. That's not including the face ones, by the way, just the eye brushes. Dink it about in the water, in the solution. It's not water. I'll turn it on. Turn it off, and guys, completely clean, completely dry, like 100% dry. Let's do a test. Nothing, nothing, 
Okay, so how about we up the ante a little bit and we go in with something that's got a cream product on there. So here we've got a lipstick. You can see on my hand, lipstick. Ew. So I'm going to put it into one of the tiny, tiny collars. Dunk it about in the solution. And don't you can see this? Look at that. Can you see that coming off there? Crazy. And in fact, if I take it out now and just show you that, it's basically clean already. So I'm going to just swirl it around. And above the water. Now one thing I will say is the brushes that are not as um, bushy, they don't get the opportunity to splay out as much because there's just not as many bristles and they're more like densely packed. So I find that they don't get the chance to dry as easily. So for example this one, actually that is dry. It's, it's a tiny, tiny bit wet. I would say it's like 90% dry. So as you can see there's a tiny, tiny little bit of excess. I don't even know if you can see because it's so bright, but there's a little bit of excess um, as a cleanser on there. But the brush now is completely dry and completely cre cre cream clean. And that was a lipstick. And another way you can use this cleanser is just completely on its own. You don't have to use a Style Pro. And for something like this, I probably wouldn't use a Style Pro. It's so small. It just seems kind of pointless. It's not going to be able to spin very easily. So this is gel liner. And if I just show you on my hand, it's rock hard. Rock hard. Like, I can't use that. So I'm just going to dip that in. And I really want to be able to get you to see this. Okay, I'm hoping you can see this. Watch as it melts away. See that? And for gel liner, it takes me so long to clean it at the sink. Nothing can really like get it off. So then you just use your bit of kitchen roll and you can see nothing black is coming off there because it's all in the cleanser bowl. You can do the same with my concealer. See, it's all coming off into there. The Style Pro is great because it dries the brushes within a few seconds, but the cleanser itself is really, really great. Completely clean. Concealer, cream concealer. I just realized the reason that Enzo's been barking this whole time is because he dropped his chew down the back of the sofa. I apologize. So I'm gonna do a bit of a test now for you. So we're taking a Morphe something or other brush and I've got some cream concealer. So let's make this brush disgusting. So we're gonna swirl that about in that cream concealer. Cream blush to this. Mix that on. Ugh. How about a bit of Jew the Hula? Uh, change that water out. Uh, I'm going to put a cap and a little bit because I'm going to be doing a few brushes. So, putting a little bit more than it recommends. This is a little bit oily. It's got kind of like this residue to it, which it doesn't leave on the brushes. Um, it kind of conditions the brushes and because it's a little bit oily it really uh, breaks down makeup which is great so what we're gonna do is just dunk this brush in that solution and I don't know if you can see this but look at that stuff just coming off now it's just a little bit stained from that pink blush so I'm gonna go in one more time with this so again, I'm going to just dunk, and we're not getting anything off this time, which just shows it is clean, it's literally just stained. So there is some staining, the brush is completely dry, I could use that in powders now, it's dry. Okay, I'm going to do a couple more face brushes and call it a day on this review and give my overall thoughts. So I'm gonna do this one here, which has got like um, contour and face powder on it. And just show you that for brushes that are just kind of everyday use, you're not like swirling them in loads of crap, um, it works really, really good. If you're a makeup artist and you're wanting like extremely clean brushes for your clients, I wouldn't recommend this one just because I feel it doesn't get 100% of like staining off. So even if the brushes are clean with this, it doesn't always look like they're amazingly clean. I think for somebody like me and you, um, someone that just does makeup as a hobby and it's just fun, I think it's perfect. I think it's great and especially because it cleans so quickly and dries so quickly, it just makes it so much easier for people that just can't be bothered like myself. So 
I'm gonna spin it. Now, this one is completely clean. It feels so soft and it's dry, guys. It's dry. So, woo! Give me this brush here. And this is what it looks like completely bone dry completely clean okay so i'm just gonna move back a little bit so these are the brushes the face ones that we cleaned you can see this one came off really good this one did too but this one stained a little bit but i'm not mad at that it's they're all dry they all feel super soft and i'll still use that i mean it's clean it's just stained everyone knows pink stains and then for the eye brushes again we've got a pink stained one which again shows pink stains but completely dry and fluffy and all the others we tried we tried with the concealer the lipstick and the cream eyeliner the gel line that are dried and just a powder one and they all come off really nice and clean so i wouldn't recommend this if you don't want to splurge on the brush cleanser um people do um in their videos a lot of videos really like using um like soaps and stuff soaps and shampoos and if that works for you that works for you watch other reviews uh, watch other reviews don't take my word for the like the 100% um, opinion of everyone you might like it with the um, soaps and shampoos but for me I don't see it to be amazing unless you use the makeup brush cleanser which costs about I think this was like eight pound for the small um, 150 ml bottle which you know it can add up I used not too I probably use like maybe like a third of the bottle if I was doing all my brushes maybe a little bit more I'm not really sure because I've not done all my brushes but I'm just making like a little estimate guesstimate overall I do really like this it's a bit gimmicky yeah it's a bit gimmicky but I think it's a lifesaver if you're in a rush you need brushes and you want to use them instantly otherwise you're waiting 24 hours for a brush like this to dry sometimes even more depending whether you put them like in an airing cupboard or somewhere warm but I've been known to wait for longer than 24 hours for a makeup brush and it is really annoying. For like 10 seconds, for it to be completely dry is insane and I think that's quite revolutionary for like makeup, brush cleaning products. Um, nothing dries them, things clean them, but nothing else dries them like this. So I think it's absolutely brilliant for that and um, I would definitely repurchase it again. I love it. In a way, it's a little bit of a holy grail for me. But um, as I said, if you're a professional, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, but it's great for um, the day-to-day, -day, regular, average makeup using person, or maybe a little bit more than average, because obviously you guys know I'm a little bit obsessed with makeup. So thank you so much for watching this review. I hope you all liked this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you all next time. Bye. Mwah.